Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Drift build here, and uh, today we're doing the Toyota Supra, as I'm sure you can you can already tell there. Uh, let's go and start off by putting some bigger brakes on there. We'll go all the way up to the race brakes, and lowering it, put it on those race springs and dampers, and it already looks better. Already looks better. There's too much wheel gap there. And uh, of course, as soon as I start recording, there's a ice truck, ice remover truck, whatever, salt truck, salt truck is what they're called, uh, outside of my house, and it's making a lot of beeping noises. I'm not sure if that'll show up on the recording, or if, uh, or if it'll just be silent. Hopefully it's just silent. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna kind of ruin things. Um, fully upgrade all of this stuff. Now that I have tons and tons of money, I'm gonna just throw it away. Even though this isn't really throwing it away, uh, you know, it's lightening the car up even more, which is great, except for the differential. At least in Forza 4, it added weight. Not sure if it does in this game. Uh, let's up that by one, and then up the rears all the way. Yeah, make those fat tires fit right on there. And uh, for the wheels... Um, I have no idea. Let's go ahead. Nah. I can put those on there. I think that looks really good. I remember I put them on the top secret Supra in Forza 4. And, uh, that looked, that looked amazing on there. Uh, leave the style, the, the tire sizes, the stock. And, uh, what type of body kits can we throw on here? None that I really like. I mean, ab, ab plug isn't bad. And the Forza one adds a pretty nice... That splitter actually looks fairly decent on this, but... Uh, Jun, not really, or June, however you say that. You know, let's go with ab plug. I don't want to leave it stock, but... You know, none of the others look good. Oh my god. That is horrible. It's pretty cool. Uh, no. We're just going to leave stock, probably. Yeah, we're going to leave the stock wing on there. Don't want to remove the wing, but I don't want to put an ugly wing on there. Um, now, I could match it with the ab... ab flug. Ab flug. Or I could leave it stock. I'm going to leave it the rear stock. I don't, I don't like the way that looks, and we're gonna go with ab plug side skirts. And what about the hood? Does the hood look good? No. Stock hood. <laughs> Man, none of these body kits are, are turning out to look very good. How much horsepower are we at? 320, alright. So, we're not gonna, not gonna put a ton of horsepower in there. 352 foot-pounds of torque. You know, maybe put some oil in cooling. I'd kind of like to get 400 foot-pounds of torque, so... 375 to 381. Uh... We can go up to 428 and 421. Um, I don't know. You know, let's do that. And I think that'll be it. It for right now. Uh, I'm going to have to come back and start recording again here in a second. Uh, so, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Uh, so, we're back to recording here. And I did all this, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now we just have to tune it. Uh, and then after we tune it, we paint it up. And uh, then we go and we test it on the track. Um, so, we'll drop this down a bit. Uh, we'll mess with the gears later. Gotta keep it even, or else it uh, makes me upset. Stiffen things up uh, more. So for the springs, it needs to be more so in the rear uh, for more oversteer. At least that's what I've noticed on other cars. Not really sure how it works on the Supra. This is the first time I've had the Supra in this game, actually. 
Uh, I've never driven it yet. Well, obviously in Forza 4 I have, but uh, yeah, I have not uh, have not tried a single thing with the Super in this game yet. So it should be good, hopefully. Yeah, you know, it's a good drift car in in Forza 4. Um, now what type of paint should we throw on this? Hmm, should we go black or? I'm not really sure. Uh, we could do... I don't really want to leave it white. You know what? We're going to do... A blue like that. Black out the hood. We'll do carbon fiber. And uh, for the wheels, we'll make them white. There we go. That's basically what I did to the top secret Supra in Forza 5, or Forza 4, sorry, and it looked really good. Um, tint the windows just to make it look better. Um, but yeah, I think I have a video on that actually. I'm not really sure. I could probably go check that in a bit, but I'm pretty sure I have a video on that drifting around. Uh, the wheels were much, much larger though. Uh, so once this saves, we can go in and take it to the test track. Uh, hey guys, welcome to Circuit to Catalonia. I can never say that word. Um, anyway, uh, we're in our Supra, and I'm going to go for a 360 entry here like I did with my R34. Um, let's go for this. Uh, screwed it up. Definitely screwed that up. Um... Yeah, let's see if we can get this thing to slide. Should be in third for this corner. I feel like the uh, the tires are way too wide. Way too wide for uh, for the amount of horsepower I have in here. I don't have a ton of horsepower, so I didn't really need those wide tires. So it's not sliding as well as I'd like it to be. Um, so I probably will go and change that. But I'd rather just do that after I'm done recording and see how it is. Okay. Pro tip, don't go into the dirt. Um, but yeah, I'd like to go and, and change the tires. I feel like they're way too wide uh, for what I'm trying to accomplish. Which is sliding. Which is sliding. Um... Because, yeah, it's it's not getting... Okay. That was a really terrible drift. Uh, yeah, but I decided to go with less horsepower for once. I wanted to try something different. And, you know, it does slide. I can, I can probably do the rear camber. Um add more rear camber to it and see how it does that way but I don't know okay and then that was way too slow to even put the handbrake on that's the thing I don't like about well obviously grippiness that this has this has way too much grip Um, oh crap, did not expect that. And yeah, that's going to completely screw up, so. Um, we'll go around this corner, try another 360 entry. Hopefully we can get it this time, but, you know, I can't, I can't promise anything. I should probably extend the... I kind of want to extend the second gear so that I can use it for longer. Uh, use it for the corners that are more wide and drawn out compared to short stuff. Uh, so that way I don't have to turn up to third all the time. I probably did that way too early, didn't I? Yep. Yep. Okay. And I did ruin my... Uh, my gearbox or my clutch or something because something is burning look at that smoke coming out of there I, 
did ruin something. Uh, really got to change these tires. The Super does feel much less twitchy than other cars as well. It, everything seems more smooth and... Uh, it's kind of less responsive because of how... How less twitchy it is. Maybe that's just because of the rear wheels, but... Um... Yeah, it, it just feels a lot less responsive than all the other cars I've done. You know, I can still hold drifts with it, do some fairly decent drifts. And uh, it's it's good. I just got to change a few more things and it'll be perfect. That blue is really bright when it goes into the sun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be doing more, obviously. Next car will be uh, will be something, that's for sure. It's going to be some type of car. I don't know which one, but yeah. Uh, see you guys later.